Kaplan Armoured Personnel Carrier represents a strategic collaboration between Indonesia's PT Pindad and Turkey's FNSS, under the aegis of the Defend ID Defence Consortium. This 30-tonne tracked vehicle is poised to bolster Indonesia's military capabilities, blending advanced design, operational versatility and localised production to meet the diverse needs of modern warfare. The Kaplan APC, the latest addition to the FNS Kets Kaplan family of tracked armoured vehicles, was unveiled during the Saha Defence and Aerospace Exhibition 2024 in Istanbul. Its development reflects a deepening partnership between the two nations, building on the successful Kaplan MT medium tank program. The Kaplan APC is designed with Indonesia's philosophy of war in mind, emphasizing mobility, flexibility and survivability. The vehicle's deployment is expected to align with Indonesia's diverse operational requirements, which range from traditional military engagements to counterinsurgency and peacekeeping missions. The Kaplan APC's modular design supports a wide variety of mission configurations, making it suitable for mechanized infantry, reconnaissance, command and control, medical evacuation, and both direct and indirect fire support. This adaptability ensures that the vehicle can perform effectively across Indonesia's archipelagic terrain, which presents unique logistical and operational challenges. Equipped with a power-to-weight ratio exceeding 22 horsepower per tonne, the Kaplan APC can transport a crew of 13, including the gunner, driver and commander. Its advanced electronics infrastructure enables seamless integration of mission systems such as 3360-degree situational awareness, battlefield management and navigation systems, enhancing its capability to operate in complex environments. The vehicle's mobility and protection features, including compliance with STANAG 4569 standards for ballistic, mine and IED protection, ensure its effectiveness in both conventional and asymmetric warfare scenarios. The Kaplan APC's role extends beyond battlefield engagement. It can serve as a pivotal asset in humanitarian and disaster relief missions, offering secure transportation for personnel and equipment in challenging environments. This versatility aligns with Indonesia's broader defence strategy, which emphasises dual-use platforms capable of contributing to national resilience during peacetime. The integration of features such as a chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear protection system further underscores its utility in non-combat scenarios, enhancing its value as a multi-purpose platform. At the heart of the Kaplan APC's design is its modularity and adaptability. The vehicle's open architecture electronics infrastructure allows for the integration of various mission-specific systems, ensuring it can be tailored to evolving operational needs. This includes options for advanced turret systems, both manned and unmanned, capable of accommodating weapon systems such as 30mm or 35mm cannons, 120mm mortars or anti-tank guided missile systems. Such flexibility ensures that the Kaplan APC can serve a wide range of mission profiles from direct combat engagements to support roles. The vehicle's protection systems are a significant highlight. Compliance with STANAG 4569 standards ensures robust defence against ballistic threats, mines and IEDs. Optional features such as active protection systems, laser warning receivers and gunshot detection systems can further enhance its survivability in high threat environments. The inclusion of an automatic fire suppression system and an auxiliary power unit adds layers of safety and operational efficiency, particularly in extended missions or adverse conditions. Mobility is another cornerstone of the Kaplan APC's design. Powered by a diesel engine coupled with an automatic transmission, the vehicle boasts a top speed of 70 km per hour and an operational range of 450 km. Its advanced suspension system, featuring modernised torsion bars, ensures superior terrain handling, reducing internal vibrations and enhancing crew comfort. The ability to traverse gradients of up to 60%, side slopes of 30%, 
Vertical obstacles of 0.9 meters and trenches up to 2.2 meters underscores its capability to operate in diverse terrains, from dense jungles to urban environments. The Kaplan APC also emphasizes crew survivability and comfort. Standard features include air conditioning and heating systems, ensuring operability in extreme climates. Smoke grenade discharges and a robust CBRM protection system enhance its resilience in hazardous conditions, while its spacious interior and ergonomic design contribute to crew efficiency during prolonged operations. In Southeast Asia, the Kaplan APC competes with platforms such as the Singaporean Hunter AFV, Malaysia's AV-8 Gempita and Thailand's Black Widow Spider. The Hunter AFV is lauded for its advanced digitized systems and robust protection, featuring a high degree of automation and situational awareness. Malaysia's AV-8 Gempita, developed in collaboration with Turkey's FNSS, offers extensive modularity, supporting configurations for multiple mission types. Meanwhile, Thailand's Black Widow Spider emphasizes mobility and stealth, catering to specialized operational needs. The Kaplan APC's primary advantage lies in its balanced approach to performance, cost and versatility. While the Hunter AFV and AV-8 Gempita excel in specific areas, the Kaplan APC offers a comprehensive package tailored to Indonesia's unique requirements. Its collaborative development approach, leveraging the expertise of FNSS and PT Pindad, ensures cost-effective production and streamlined logistics. Shared components with the Kaplan MT and FNSS's Marine Assault Vehicle reduce maintenance complexity and enhance reliability, providing operators with a significant operational edge. The Kaplan APC's development marks a significant milestone in Indonesia's defence modernisation journey. With initial production scheduled for 2025, the programme emphasises technology transfer and capacity building, ensuring PT Pindad gains the expertise to sustain and evolve the platform. This aligns with Indonesia's broader strategy of fostering self-reliance in defence production, reducing dependence on foreign suppliers and strengthening its indigenous defence industry. Looking ahead, the Kaplan APC's modular design and open architecture systems offer immense potential for future upgrades. The integration of emerging technologies such as autonomous driving capabilities, advanced sensor suites and network-centric warfare systems could further enhance its battlefield effectiveness. Additionally, the vehicle's adaptability makes it an attractive option for export markets, particularly in regions seeking cost-effective yet capable armoured solutions. Countries with similar operational environments, such as the Philippines and Vietnam, may find the Kaplan APC's features particularly appealing. The Kaplan APC's success could also pave the way for deeper collaboration between Indonesia and Turkey in defence technology. Joint ventures in areas such as unmanned systems, missile technology and cyber defence could further strengthen the strategic partnership between the two nations enhancing their collective defence capabilities. The Kaplan APC embodies a forward-looking approach to armoured vehicle development, combining the strengths of FNSS's engineering expertise with PT Pindad's local production capabilities. It is well suited to address Indonesia's defence requirements while maintaining the flexibility to adapt to future challenges. Its blend of performance, cost-effectiveness and collaborative development positions it as a formidable contender in the Southeast Asian defence market. When compared to its regional competitors, the Kaplan APC's emphasis on modularity, survivability and operational versatility sets it apart. Its role in supporting Indonesia's philosophy of war, which prioritises mobility, adaptability and resilience, underscores its strategic value. As production progresses and the vehicle undergoes rigorous testing, the Kaplan APC is set to become a cornerstone of Indonesia's military modernization efforts, ensuring the nation's readiness to address a wide range of security challenges in the years to come. Um, with its potential for future upgrades and export opportunities, the Kaplan APC represents not just a vehicle, but a platform for innovation and collaboration in the global defense industry.